what's going on YouTube? Sam at back with another figure review. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the 18 inch Pacific Rim. Jaeger Striker Eureka features LED lights. Really happy this guy uh, finally came out. So we're gonna go over the packaging really quick because it's the same packaging as pretty much all the other um, Pacific Rim face. Side of the box you get a um, image right there of Striker Eureka and you can see the city right there in the background. And here's a look at the back of the packaging right here. So you can see the figure, it's a super massive heroes. And then if we bring this down just a bit, you can see all the other figures that come in the series. Well, not necessarily the series, but other figures that you can pick up. So you can see all of them right there. Guys, let's take this bad boy outside of the package. All right, guys, so here is a 360 look at Striker Eureka. This is a beautiful piece. So um, I really can't get a full scale view of him on the 360 look but he is awesome. So I'll pan the camera down just a bit so you guys can see like the, the feet as well. So you guys can get a close look at everything on this figure because it is very massive and is very beautiful. So you can see this right here, such a nice piece. But let's go ahead and take a closer detailed look at Striker Eureka. So the way we're gonna do this review here, guys, is we're gonna go through each part, um, each, each part of the figure like section by section. Um, there is a little bit of assembly required. I'll let you know exactly what I mean by that because it is a little bit dif difficult to get the little rocket booster thing, like the fin thingies in the back. But I'm um, gonna lift the cam camera up just a bit and we'll give you a close up as much as this camera will allow me on the head sculpt. So you can see right there, the head sculpt looks very, very good. You can see that's where the, um, the pilots are, if you will. So we'll come up to the top here so you guys can get a close look at the top of the head sculpt you can see the great detailing there and there's the back right here here's the fins you can see that through the front of the figure and then we'll bring this right back down and then I'll show you a close-up here on the uh, chest plate of the figure right here so you can see there is a little bit of writing a little bit of detail a little bit of a uh, like little logos right here like there's one right there on the top right of the chest you can see it's kind of like a bulldog you can see that right there and you got some right over here some writing there and you can see all the wear and everything like the battle damage the weathering that he has been through you can see that there there's the arm and i'll give you side views as well but the head sculpt on this guy looks really really good here's more of a look on the lower torso of the body so you can see here um there's a little like blades that he has on the on the hands or on the forearms, you can see right here. And then there's, um, again, you can see the great weathering and detailing here. So we go down just a bit more. You can see the, the top of the legs right there. The feet looks really, really good. So here's a side look of the head sculpt right there. I'll zoom in just a bit so you guys can see all the cool little details again all the weathering and there's the fins right here i was telling you about now you have to plug these into the back there is a little insert but mine won't go in all the way it's a little difficult to get it in i'll see you i'll show you guys right there you can see it would not peg in all the way i really have to apply some force to it but these these uh like fins in the back are um you have to assemble yourself to put it together but there's a, a look right there at the torso you can see the great detailing so we'll pan down just a bit more so you guys can see more of a look. See all the great detailing on this guy. You can see all the mechanics, so nice. And then there's a look at, at the uh, blades right here. So you can see the paint on them. You can see the weathering that these do have. There's a lot of like little, little paint applications to them. And then here's a bottom look at the, uh, the lower legs. And then there's the feet. Really, really cool. So here's a back look at the um, Jaeger. So you can see right here, one of these is kind of crooked only because I said I have to really apply force to put this in. So I'm gonna do that when I'm done with the review because it's probably gonna fall out for the review. Now where the button is to, to turn on the light effects is gonna be this, whoops, it was a camera, is this button right here. If you guys are wondering because they don't give you instructions with this so it doesn't really tell you where the light switch is on. So this is it right there. Let me zoom in just a bit. It's gonna be this one right here so that's where it is guys look at the the fins right here you can see the little i think boosters or whatever this looks really cool right there i love how that looks so the back of this guy just looks really really nice all the great detail and then we'll pan the camera down just a bit so you guys can see all the cool little details that this guy does have look at this very very cool and look at the back of the legs i love the way the back of the legs look I'll give you guys a close up here. You can see all the weathering, very, very nice. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll turn him to the side and then you guys can see the other 
the right side of the figure since we are. See, you can see the, the fin already popped off right there. So here's a right side look at the figure right here. And then I'll do some close up shots at the end of the video um, so you guys can see a better look at him. But you can see I'm scrolling all the way down so you guys can get a full on look. And then right now we're gonna get a look at the articulation. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the articulation on this guy. But you can see what I mean when I say this thing pops up. It doesn't come on really good. So you can see where it pegs in. And there's a hole right there. It's very, very difficult to get in there. So you're really gonna have to apply force. But for the sake of the review, I'll show you guys what this looks like here, that little fin. You can see it looks really cool. I'll be that was not cool. Like I was saying, for the sake of review, I'm gonna remove these just because I haven't really been able to plug these in all the way. But you guys can see the cool little weathering on these here. There's a front look at them where it actually uh, uh, pegs in, sorry. And then there's a back look, but they do have a really good um, paint applications to them. So you can see this one's really weathered. It's got a lot of cool little battle damages on there. And now we pick up the Jaeger here. So like I was saying where the button is for the lights, it's right here. You can see that. So we turn this bad boy around, pick the head up. So he does light up on the top of the head and then the chest and the chest area as well. So I'll turn off the light so you guys can get a look. So it is daytime, but uh, you, so you can see right here, the light up effect on this guy is very, very good. So you can see the, the it doesn't look like the eyes light up. I don't know if for some reason I thought they did, but they don't, or the visor of the um, mask, but you can see right there, it does light up pretty good. And then the top of the dome right there lights up as well. And that looks cool. So you can see that. Very nice. So that's what it looks like lit up. So going over his articulation, uh, the, the lights are still on. The head can go up and down. You can rotate it, it kind of tilts as well. The arms, you know, they slightly do go in and out. Well, actually they do go in and out pretty good. They go forward and back. You can see that there. Uh, what else we got? You got a bend at the elbow. The hand, I don't think I showed you guys the hand, but he's got a closed, closed fist here. If we move this around, you can see the the actual hand right there, it's got like a gold color to it. And there's the inside part. So it does rotate and it goes in and out. So you see he's got a good range of motion. The fingers aren't articulated though. You can see the gold uh, paint right there and the blue trimming. The lower arm has rotation. Look at this right here. So you can see the blades as well. This part right here looks really cool. You can see all the weathering, but these have rotation here and they are a little sharp. So be careful with that. One's longer than the other. So you can see that they rotate very well. And then he's got rotation at the waist, not much. He's got a good range of motion for the ab crunch. And this other arm is exactly the same. He's got the blades here as well. And for the legs, the legs do go in and out. You can see there, you go forward and back. You can see that. You kind of rotate it as well. It's got a bend at the knee. And the lower leg does rotate. And for the feet, looks like the feet go in and out. And uh, yeah, it just looks like they just go in and out. You can't rotate it, but that's about it. And then there's a bottom look at the feet in case you guys are wondering what it looks like at the bottom of the feet. So overall, I think this is a pretty good range of motion figure. And there's my review, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the figure. Overall, I think it's a cool figure. Um, is it my favorite one? I don't know, because I really I really still like the first series um, Gypsy Danger, but this one is, I would have to say, probably second best. It's a lot better than the, um, what is it, the, the, Kimor, the uh, Kernel Alpha, but this is just really cool. It's really bulky. The light-up features are really nice. The only problem I have with this figure is the fact that the, like, the fins in the back really do not plug in all the way. If you guys have this, let me know if yours was pretty easy to snap in or not, but mine had a lot of trouble trying to get this in. Um, you can get this at bigbadtoystore.com. Click in the link in the description below. If you guys are down here in the city of industry, you can head over to Frank and Sons and you guys can pick this up here. This will call you cost you between 70 to $80. So, you know, head down here, guys. It's gonna be another hot piece uh, by NECA Pacific Rim. So this scale, this guy, this guy does scale in the 18 inch mark. But let me know what you guys think about the figure. Are you guys excited for it? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. We'll see you guys later. Take care, peace, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you.